This is the Galaxy S7 Active. So if you don't know what the Active line is, it's basically the normal no compromises S7 with a built-in case. So it's really beefy. It has a bit of bigger battery even, which is amazing. All the same specs. But one feature I really like about this phone is that it's advertised as being drop proof. So from five feet, it should be able to withstand everything you throw at it on a normal flat surface. So I'm in my driveway and let's just say the average person owns their phone for two years how many times could they drop it we kind of want to simulate that we don't want you know you buy the device and you know you drop it once or twice and it's good but then you drop it on that weird angle or whatever or on its glass directly and it's broken so i'm going to drop it quite a lot and we'll see what happens you know i'm kind of nervous because you would think after a few drops it's gonna stop working but whatever Make sure you hit that subscribe button because after this, I'm gonna be doing a waterproof test or water resistance test rather. Um, what we're gonna do with that is after dropping it, we're gonna see if the device was basically, the structure was compromised at all. So that's why we're gonna do the waterproof test afterwards. So once again, subscribe, hit that like button and let's get started. So here's drop number one from about five feet. A few scuffs, let's do drop number two. Y'all, that, that smack, I don't know if you heard it, but the glass is perfect. That would have cracked my S7, no doubt. That is so good on the face. Okay, that was after 10 drops. Let me just give you a little recap. So this is after 10 drops. The screen is flawless. There are some scuffs though on the side, as you can see. Yeah, those are, I mean, pretty nasty. They definitely take a beating. Now we continue. Okay. So here's 11, 12, 15, 19. Uh, let's see. Let's do a spinning drop, okay? It landed right on the glass, it's still good. Was that 19? I hope so. And here is 20. This phone does really good about dropping straight down. That center of gravity though. So the corners obviously show the most wear. And then once again, this is after 20 drops of varied locations. So there's that one. And then there's like slight scuffing on the back, like you can see right there. And then, and I don't even know if you can see this, but the lip of the phone goes up slightly above the glass and that's starting to get rough. Okay, since I'm OCD, let's think of a number that actually means something to me. 27, I'm 27 years old. Let's drop it 27 times. So we're at 20, so let's do seven more for good luck. These are gonna be the best ones yet. So, they're all gonna be face down. So there's... Okay, the last one has to be good. So that was 27. But we have to make a good one. Perfect, 28. Back is good, camera's perfect, flash is perfect. The edges obviously have seen better days. Well, there we go, guys. I dropped the phone like 27, 28, 29, 30 times. Who the heck knows after all the stuff I did? But good thing is screen literally has no scratches on it. Camera has no scratches on it. The flash has no scratches on it. The power button the volume rocker, nothing has any scratches on it, but the physical outside like case of the device. So kudos to Samsung. And now the device looks rugged, looks really good. Like 
actually the the damage actually suits the device in my opinion it just makes it now feel more approachable to hold now like you can hold it and not be afraid to drop it you kind of can see what what the device has been through per se and just as I'm leaving you guys one thing I want to really mention and give kudos to Samsung is that the outside I guess from what I can tell is like a metal so the S6 Active had like plastic on the outside and there was issues where it basically came unglued. This feels a lot more sturdy, like this probably won't happen. So we'll see as time goes on, but so far the build quality seems really good. Um, and like I said, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I'm gonna do a waterproof test after these 27, 28 or so drops. We're gonna see if the dropping the device damage the integrity of it as well so if you put it in water for 30 minutes is it still going to be waterproof after putting it through this much torture you'll just have to find out i don't even know yet stay tuned that's coming soon it's getting dark out i'm getting bit up so i gots to go and also before i leave one huge big shout out to at&t they were nice enough to send me to this device nice enough to let me torture it a little bit now i can't be throwing this off buildings but they did allow me to do normal drop tests, so I did a reasonable drop test from five feet several times, and now you can see that this device will last you the whole time throughout your contract. 